In 219 BC, the siege of Saguntum lasted for eight months. Carthaginian general, Hannibal Barca, laid siege. Despite not having much information, what was it like? What was the background of the event? Was it the cause or the first battle? Find out today on Roman history. This is the first video on the special edition on the Second Punic War, which would lead to the Battle of Geronium on New Year's Day. The Second Punic War was the second time Rome and Carthage faced each other in three separate wars between 264 to 146 BC. The Romans won the first and gained most of Sicily, Corsica, and Sardinia from the Carthaginians. Hamilcar, Carthage's general and father of Hannibal, was intent on taking revenge on Rome. He went to Spain to form a new army to prepare and fight against Rome, but the Iberians killed him in 228 BC. His son-in-law, Hasdrubal the Fair, succeeded him but died seven years later. Finally, Hannibal took charge and gained martial experience fighting against the various Celtiberian tribes. By 219 BC, he was ready to take on Rome, but he had a problem. Rome's intervention in Saguntum. There are a few points to cover. First, Carthage needed money to pay off its debts due to its loss in the First Punic War. Second, in 226 BC, Rome and Hasdrubal signed the Treaty of the Ebro, in which Rome stayed north of the Ebro and Carthage on the south. Finally, there is a debate on the relationship between Saguntum and Rome. If they became allies before the treaty, Saguntum was under Rome's protection. If it was after the treaty, Rome violated it, Saguntum was on hilly terrain and was a wealthy port city. Hannibal wanted gold and silver to fund his invasion of Rome. Also, he wanted to punish the city for siding with Rome, violation and a threat. The Roman Republic promised not to extend its sphere of influence south of the Ebro River. But Saguntum was on Carthaginian territory. Finally, it was Hannibal's message that Rome should stay out of Carthage's affairs and would punish the Romans. The Greek historian Polybius did not give much information about the siege but was clear on the first battle of the Second Punic War. Rome could not send troops to alleviate the siege, and Hannibal sacked it and showed his willingness for brutality. The Roman historian Livy gave a more detailed account of the battle. The Roman envoy, Alcarus, met with Hannibal to deal with the situation. The negotiation got nowhere, so the siege continued. Hannibal destroyed a tower and captured the city, in John Priva's Hannibal's Oath, the life and wars of Rome's greatest enemy, he gave more information. Saguntum was wealthy and well defended, and the siege took eight months. Carthaginian senator Hanno opposed the war due to his wealth and anti-Barca sentiments. Spain was wealthy due to its mines, which benefited aristocrats like Hanno. After pushing against the well-defended Sagantine's position, Maharbal was the Numidian cavalry commander and substituted for Hannibal until he fully recuperated from his injury. After his recovery, he heard about a revolt around modern-day La Mancha and Madrid. He fought the rebels and returned to the siege. Maharbal told him that a section of the wall broke through sappers and battering rams. Knowing that Rome would not save Saguntum, the Saguntines melted their gold, silver, and children into the furnace. The aftermath was when Hannibal sacked Saguntum as an intimidation and fear tactic for Rome to not interfere with Carthage's sphere of influence. It was the beginning of the Second Punic War. Rome intended to bring the Scipio brothers to Iberia. Nius Cornelius Scipio Calvus and Publius Cornelius Scipio. Hasdrubal, Hannibal's brother, stayed in Iberia to deal with a potential Roman invasion and revolts. The siege of Saguntum was the first battle of the Second Punic War, which lasted for 17 years. Thank you for watching, and please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications. I hope you enjoyed this video and will continue the special series which will be on Wednesdays and Fridays during December.